it's ASMR Strive, back with another video. I have a little different setup today, as you can see. Um, one, it's bright outside. Uh, the sun will be going down soon, so I'm gonna try to hurry. Um, but also, um, I have my phone up in a different position, so I'm gonna try really hard to focus on you and not look at myself. That's gonna be the task for today. Just kidding, anyways. So basically, today we are going to be talking about energy, vibration, and frequency. This video was requested by Jimmy. I appreciate you. Thank you for the request. I was really excited to make, to make this video. I'm a little nervous for some reason. I really don't know why. I just thought I'd mention that. <laughs> but um, yeah, hopefully you enjoy. Hopefully this is informative. I'm not going to go super, super in-depth. I want to leave that to you. Um, yeah, before we start this video, I want to make sure that you understand that you need to do your own research. Don't just take what I'm saying and, f like, form your opinion with that. Make sure you do your research. Um, this is more of a video to kind of get your feet wet, I guess, with the um, idea of those things. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um... If I'm, I'm looking down here because I have some notes jotted down, which is why it took me so long to make this video, because I wanted to make sure I fact-checked everything. I have been learning about these things for three, four, I want to say like three years now. And I actually learned a lot while researching and uh, getting all the definitions and etc. So this has been great for me as well. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so let's get right into it. So I wanted to start off with a quote. The quote is, the secrets of the universe are kept by those who understand energy, frequency, and vibration. That quote is by Nikola Tesla, who you may know, um, invented a lot of things, um, accelerated motor or the AC um, whatever it doesn't matter you can look him up he's um, created a lot of great things that we still use today uh, radio frequencies the um, Tesla coil um, he was also a big brother, a big um, push for free energy which obviously we don't have today you wonder why you know the mullah so that's a bummer, but, um, yeah, what I'm going to be talking about today is science-based, it's, which is why I think it's very, um, digestible to a lot of people who don't believe in the spiritual side of things. In my opinion, it's hand in hand, but I can understand why somebody would only want to follow the facts and the science, or the science-based um, part of it all. So I'm going to be talking about a little bit of both in the video. Next, I wanted to name another scientist. I really hope I don't butcher these names. Masato Emoto. And I remember I learned about his research a while ago. I feel like a lot of you may remember this as well. But he did a lot of water experiments. And essentially, he We'll just wrap it up and say he talked to water and the words that he used and the vibration that he gave to the water with those words and the emotions with the words created different crystals when he froze the water. So for example, happy words, excited words, beautiful ice uh, crystals um, from the water, anger, a lot of negativity ugly crystals when the water was frozen. That's basically what it comes down to. This is all pseudoscience shit, but um, these are in fact things that you can practice yourself. Obviously, you just need water. But anyways, um, and the last researcher I want to mention, and I'm mentioning these so you can look into it and um, learn about these things in further detail yourself. But, um, the last one is Jacques 
for the motions of particles. I want you to look up energy, vibration, and frequency when this is over. Sorry, it's daytime, so it's going to be loud. I apologize. But, um, like I said, vibration is back and forth motion of particles. there but I don't really know what it says so when it refers to particles I believe that it's referring to atoms so we all know things are composed of protons neutrons and electrons including our cells so when I looked it up it said that one cell contains roughly 100 trillion um, atoms which is wild like that's insane so literally the cells of our our body and we're, we're composed of so many cells the cells of our body have trillions of particles which are all vibrating pretty wild so what frequency is is the number of vibrations that pass a fixed point um, in a set amount of time. So, vibration and frequency are tied together. We're going to repeat that. Frequency is the number of vibrations that passes a fixed point in a certain amount of time. So, if everything is energy and everything is vibrating, then everything is a frequency. So, remember we said energy is everything, everything is energy. If energy is vibrating, then everything has frequency. I wrote that and I feel like that makes a lot of sense. It's all tied together. So that's where, I hope that made sense. I tried to break it down into, like, into three of them and then explain each and then show how that tied together. Hopefully that made sense. So going further in depth, in depth, there's always energy frequencies vibrating all around you all the time. And again, we, we keep using the word everything because everything applies. So we're talking planets, we're talking the earth, we're talking ocean, we're talking about the, the crust moving, we're talking about words, people's emotions, people in general, really. All of these things are vibrating and they're emitting different frequencies. So all of those flow basically into the law of attraction which is happening all the time, mind you. You are always attracting what you are. You attract like attracts like. Um, there's the saying that the your inside vibration and frequencies um, reflect what your world is, reflect your reality. But simply, Let's say that I'm having a very, very bad day and I'm choosing to walk around today negative, you know, um, take away all the looks and all of this. I'm vibrating on a lower frequency. I have a lot of negative emotions and my world is going to reflect that. I experience this on a daily basis when I'm at work. I've experienced, which is why all of these things help your life so much. Seriously, when you understand these concepts, you can change your life for the better. Please hear that. You can change your life for the better. I am so happy. I, I feel so in control after learning this. And it's stuff that I learned myself that I can put into practice myself. I don't need anybody. I don't need a tool. I literally need myself. Like, that's crazy. I'm getting excited. I really love this topic. Thank you again, Jimmy, for recommending that I make the video. So, daylight's going down. Let's continue. Be of the vibration that you want to attract. So, whenever 
I'm at work and I am you know, helping customers and I'm of a negative mindset I'm irritated by the customers I'm irritated that I'm at work all of that negativity and irritation is reflected right back at me from the customers now don't get it twisted that doesn't mean that every single customer is going to be negative to you because you have a negative vibration or just like mindset but most of the time I think it will what you're looking for you get back all right we're just gonna continue I can't control that so um, opposed to whenever I'm very positive that day We'll just say when I'm very positive and I'm looking for positive things and I'm not letting any negativity affect me when it comes to people coming in negative. My day is fantastic. The amount of interactions that I deem great is at 90%. When I go into work negative of a bad mindset, the amount of encounters that the, um, the percentage basically goes down, I have like 40% positive and 60% negative experiences. And I've tried this myself, and it's true. I've literally witnessed it. And, of course, a lot of the times unintentionally. I didn't, like, intentionally go to work being pissed off and getting these experiences. I've just noted it over time. And that's one thing that you can do as well. You can experiment. You can use your life and see how this goes into, um, my bad, see how this goes into your, um, fits in your life. I'm not telling you to believe this or not. This is just information do with it what you will so we all know um, we all know that person that can basically walk in the room and just uplift just lift the vibration of the room um, the word empath gets thrown around too much it's so irritating not everybody is an empath. An empath is not a personality trait. Hold on, this is going to be a little... Alright, I don't know what people's fascination with loud vehicles is. So, yeah, we all know that person that comes in and just raises the vibration, just the energies, becomes higher, more positive emotions. We all know that person that comes in and just F's up the vibe. F's up, like it just makes that, they make everybody uncomfortable. Everybody's not like, oh, okay, this person's killing the vibe. People say this stuff all the time, but they don't even know why, are they, why they're saying it. Literally, that person comes in and kills your vibe. This person comes in and uplifts you, just raises the vibe. It's, it's so simple. We all know that person. You know somebody like that in your life. You've got to. Maybe it's yourself. Um, the more I've been putting these things in practice, a good friend of mine at work um, expressed to me that on multiple occasions, uh, was some of them were like something that I've implied and some of them were word for word, but basically I, the, the vibe that I was on was he brought it up brought him up and matched that whereas he was having a, a bad day maybe low vibration my vibe brought it up to him and to do that you have to have a very solid foundation I think in, in spirituality and practices I can't just wake up go to work and have good vibrations that day it's not how it works I've talked about this before this is why I do things like in the morning I wake up I'll do yoga in the morning I wake up I go and work out in the morning I wake up take a cold shower meditate I do these things because it fortifies me we've talked about this before again it fortifies me for the battles ahead whenever I wake up it's like I got my thing out you know no armor no sword no nothing you know I'm so susceptible to the negativity and the low vibrations of the world when I don't prepare myself that's why I stress that as well so again so now I've stated that high vibration affects so much around you the 
things that you don't even realize a lot of the times, which is why I love giving compliments, genuine compliments, which is why I love smiling at people. It, it just has unknown, um, um, what is the word? I'm going to use conclusions for lack of a better term. Unknown conclusions, um, that's not a good word. It creates unknown circumstances that you wouldn't know about, but are most likely positive. Whenever you smile at that person, you could have made their day, you could have made their hour, you could have made their 30 minutes. That's a lot, you know? Whenever you give that person that compliment, you could have made, honestly, their whole month. There's no place for negative emotions and frequencies when it comes to just especially giving that to other people. Man, that's so... It's so unthoughtful. It's so... It's just so unkind, man. When you realize what that can do to people. And it takes a tough person to constantly get... Because there's a lot of negative people in this world, man. There's a lot of low vibrational people in this world. Majority of the planet is low vibrational people. That's just how thing. That's how it is. So you're getting that. It takes a really really tough person to receive all of that, be strong and fortified enough to either repel it, take it, throw it away, and also give back that positivity and that positive vibration to other people, lifting and raising the vibration of the earth, baby. When you gave that person that compliment, whether you realize it or not, you rose the vibration of the earth a set, like a certain amount. Don't know that. There's no way to gauge that. There's no way to gauge that. But you did. You literally did. That's a good way to think about it, and it's very encouraging, you know? It's not easy to give people compliments. Sometimes they don't really care. Sometimes they think it's weird. Some people, some people get uncomfortable by compliments. Don't worry about that shit. Live your life as long as you're being genuine. You're being positive. You're not being a weirdo. I don't think there's any negative repercussions from just being positive and kind and nice. So, yeah, that was energy, vibration, and frequency. Again, kind of just getting your feet wet. Please feel free to go and look a lot of these things up. Um, whenever you're done, I don't really have somebody that I learned from. It's, again, I've been learning about this stuff and putting it into practice for almost three years. So it was kind of an accumulation of ideas and thoughts and information that I've modeled through myself and I've come to conclusions with throughout my own life. You have all the answers inside of you. You just need to bring them out. Trust your gut. Follow your heart. You know what's right. You know what's wrong. Just need to tap into it. Anyways, so I don't have anybody specific to recommend to you, but go on YouTube. Look up any of these stuff. Look up energy. Look up vibration. Look up how to raise your vibration. Look up these things, and you'll find stuff. So if that's all you wanted to hear about, that's where this ends. But I'm going to end the video off talking about three other things really quickly. Raising your vibration raises your consciousness. We're going to be talking about semen retention and veganism. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to go fast. So essentially raising your vibration, which is what people tell you to do, raise your vibes. You raise your consciousness, which consciousness is awareness. So a quick example. A lot of people aren't aware that when they go and they're negative to somebody, that that negativity can affect that person's whole day and, and ruin their day. A lot of people don't realize that whenever they order a bunch of stuff from your establishment and they don't tip a single cent, that they don't understand that that could be perceived as rude or just 
is another example, but the sperm is also something that helps in creating life that tells you how powerful that is. There's not a lot that can create life, you know? So, that energy, a lot of y'all are releasing that every single day, sometimes twice a day. And you go through what we call, uh, in the semen retentive community, the refractory period. And basically, that's low energy. You just released all that energy. Um, an example, if you maybe have a partner, um, that energy can be transmitted to, or transferred to that partner. Uh, that energy can, can be transferred to, I think, possibly your phone, if you're watching those videos, can be transferred out into, I don't know, bro, it can be transferred though, and you're not keeping it in, so that's why you experience low energy, low drive, low motivation, and you're never giving your body, it takes basically a week after you do that to replenish and refuel yourself, we'll say. And you'll never give your body a week. So therefore, no, God, you don't see guys walking around like zombies every day. But when you realize that they've just gotten used to that low amount of motivation, low energy, low confidence, self-esteem, because there's also biology that plays into it every time you're releasing that semen, your brain, you're telling your brain that you're making a kid, you're repopulating, bro. If you're, uh, that's why a lot of guys say that they glow up whenever they are on semen retention or no fat. Um, it's, it's biology. And when you're letting all that go all the time, twice a day, you're just telling your brain that, bro, I'm, um, I got like 40 or 50 kids in the past month. I'm good. I, you don't got to worry about my my appearances, you don't gotta worry about my vibration to attract that, like maybe a partner, I'm chilling, I'm doing, I'm doing great, you know, these pixels on the screen, they're, they're doing me great, which is why a lot of guys experience erectile dysfunction from watching those videos on a constant basis, and why they have low sex drive when it comes to women, um, or like not, or not women, but their partner, um, whoever they may be spending that time with. That's why it's because your brain is conditioned to link the two with you and pixels on a screen. And I'm pretty sure, I'm a firm believer that energy, vibrations, frequencies can be transferred through the screen, through, through the internet. I firmly believe that. So think about that. Think about you releasing that energy and you watching that video. Just, just think about these things. Again, do your own research. So look into semen retention specifically. Yeah, we're gonna leave that, or we'll leave that there. Like I said, I don't wanna get too in depth with anything. I wanna leave this up to you to do your own research. If it enters you enough, you will do your own research. If not, this was just another video, and I hope you enjoyed the information, at least liked watching me talk or liked my background or something, I don't know. But thank you for tuning in. Thank you again for Jimmy for recommending this. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, seeing as you're the one that recommended it. Hopefully it was very informative, like I said. Let me know if you have any questions. If I misinformed at all, please let me know in the comment section. I hate to do that, and I am constantly learning every day, all the time. So please let me know. I'm probably gonna make a video later tonight. It's very loud right now. So I'm gonna make a video later tonight, more of a real chill ASMR experience. I don't know, ASMR, mouse sounds tapping, whatever. Let me know if you have anything.